Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com with Bitcoin Technical Analysis. I don't know what you think but I start to smell a little bit of a dump in the air. Now, this is a weekly time frame and we have this beautiful bullish candle. Pretty much Bitcoin went for a whole week up like crazy. and it is bullish now this is just nothing but what I see here we found resistance at this price which is eleven thousand eleven thousand five hundred dollars ish right and this area here I drew it because it's the one we we see whether we find support at this price line which actually in my own personal Bitcoin charts I have a line in here and this line is probably at about here Okay, so I'll do another support resistance line now. And let me also just set it as such. Okay. And this is not looking good, but still Bitcoin is not on a bearish trend at all. I mean, if it drops, it could drop. Yes, it could drop to maybe one of the EMAs or one of the resistance lines. We have no idea. Now the first drop, if it does, would be at this 50% retracement of the previous bull run, the previous impulse wave, probably, because that's that's been already tested like a kind of area of support resistance, even because probably me setting the retracement at the extremes, I'm not calculating it as other people or maybe even bots do. So this price is a, probably a, a target price for many systems and people, but maybe the area, not exactly this price here. And on a weekly, we, we cannot see anything. I mean, this candle is so young. It's just forming today. It's um, seven, uh, 7 hours and 38 minutes old, as it is 7.38 in the UK in the morning. So let's go on a daily and let's see what the what Bitcoin did yesterday. Yesterday we had this uh, shooting star candle and could also be considered as a tweezer top which is another reversal signal exactly at resistance which I don't have I don't have draw 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 here before I didn't draw draw here before but definitely I've lost it it is this one but definitely it's been a resistance lines line in the past because it's this one here or this one no it was this one here. this one here. so you see it's been a resistance line in the past and so let's go back to today's scenario now we had this tweezer top uh, also a shooting star but usually a tweezer top is a pattern that has um, a shooting star or a doji or something like that basically we have a longer candle and the extremes are more or less at the same height just the only well this is not exact I would have seen this much better here as a tweezer top but still to me this is kind of a tweezer top I would need to go through the candlestick book which you should read you should read uh, by the way because I remember this now and then before you should not listen to my advice and take positions based on what I say this is just my own mere opinion on this market and it's not a financial or trading advice at all okay so you know you need to do your own due diligence every time you you invest you, you if you want to trade and yeah, that's it. You need to you need to reason with your own brain because you cannot rely on other people. Relying on other people in a way that you see what other people have to say because you may overlook that something. You may be biased because of the emotions that you feel towards a situation, which may be your money or what you believe the coin is or whatever security you are trading is. That's why you may want to have another or maybe multiple look at multiple people's points so that you can have a, a, the most unbiased idea possible 
or you can think whether or not something that somebody else says makes sense or not and now for instance it's a mere candlestick and volume you remember yesterday I said this one doesn't stand for a good volume this one stands for a good resistance volume which in fact was proven even yesterday I mean yesterday I spoke about this and today I'm speaking about this you see this one actually let me let me see if I can I need to unlock this one if I want to move it this is our resistance our real resistance which I would leave here anyway because I don't know why I made it like this and because I don't remember why I did I just do it like this and because I like to be very precise and just drag it back a little bit like that okay also I need to lock this one again because otherwise I'm going to move it sooner or later I know okay so now this is being rejected so this bottom of this red area could be a support right uh, definitely we have this kind of tweezer top um, shooting star for sure and this red candle forming with a little bit of rejection in a short term term and as I said this was a resistance more than a, a, a positive volume at the moment in the situation in which we are obviously if it was above it now it would be support because of this but it's not so it's still a resistance and we have RSI going up so far RSI hasn't broken this trend line here and MACD is just slightly showing some sign of potential retracement but still it's very good so I would I would expect it now to do kind of ups and downs here and see but maybe it is time for Bitcoin to make a correction because of these many candlesticks that we can see in the six hours and because in the six hours it's not like in the daily in the six hours we have Bitcoin leaving the overbought which is healthy as long as it's above 60 I would still consider it bullish also MACD though it's crossing and it's crossing slightly aggressively down which means it's very likely that today we should expect Bitcoin to trend down and if it trends down at this point it may trend down quite a lot because of the dumps of potential smart money who had made a fortune out of it so far in the last six months going up um, so yes I, I would be cautious and we have uh, lots of signals here that it really doesn't want to go up I mean look at the rejection here here we have another shooting star a hammer which is being confirmed but we have just other five hours before we know if it's confirmed or not it needs to this one is to close below this and ideally we want to see it opening below it but that would never happen with cryptocurrencies so yeah that what we want to expect to have this hammer confirmed is that it closes below the body which is closing and maybe we also close below the lower head the lower shadow sorry and if we go on the three hours situation doesn't change much we are actually flirting with the 60 RSI and if we drop below it which is what I suspect is going to happen then we should expect a bigger retracement and at least in this area but I think I think it's more realistic to believe it's going to be here or here actually and so it's time to buy the altcoins now not the bitcoins um, and I wanted to say something, but I forgot. Oh my gosh, I remember. Oh, yeah, we have also um, a bearish and a bearish Arami here forming, along with other, the, the Doji after a bull run. You see, another Doji. Now, I, I'm reading about the Doji, so I don't want to mention too much, but I've read, I've read that Doji after a bull run, usually, and if it's overbought, usually it doesn't mean good news for a bullish perspective, obviously we know that we will make money even in the downtrend of Bitcoin because that's what we do we just either bought buy or sorry, buy or sell according to what our expectations of the market are so only people who don't know how to invest they just think that they can only buy no we know we can sell and make a profit even if we sell that's what professional traders do and that's what I'm trying to do because I'm not yet a professional trainer, trader but yep uh, that's what I'm trying to do I want to become one meaning 
I will do this for a living and I would not do anything else. Or at least I would not work for anyone else. I can run, run other businesses but doing this for a living. Now, let's check in the hour. In the hour, things don't change. Again, we have a bearish engulfing rather than a bearish arami. We have a bearish engulfing after a bull run. We have the doji, the doji dropping down, but we have the 55 EMA holding resistance because, as I said, we should expect Bitcoin struggling in this area here. Uh, RSI and MACD are not showing a weak bear market here. I mean, it's bouncing healthily on the 44, so still, it's not very, it's not very bullish, but it's. I mean, it's proving that there is support here. And MACD also seems like it tried to cross it, but then it's bouncing back again. So if it drops, probably it will drop, it will drop with big red candles now, if it drops. Otherwise, we should expect it to just be going around up and up and down around here, which I don't think it's a profitable game to play. And I'm not even sure it will really happen. Let me see. Um, yeah, it's a five. I mean, there are people who would do that. I don't. Certainly not me. But yeah, and also I'm not sure if it's going to keep going up. Actually, maybe it goes down now. So yeah, it's not nothing I would do. It's nothing I would do. And with this, I'm not going to go on any shorter time frame. I conclude my today's Bitcoin technical analysis. Please let me know if there's something that I have overlooked that and you don't agree with. I would love it. If you enjoyed the video and you or if you want to support me, just please like, share and subscribe and watch all my videos because that would also support me because YouTube would rank me better. Um, I would really appreciate that. The channel is new, as I said. Um, yeah, if you don't like the video, let me know what I did, what I said or what I did. I don't know what's wrong with, <laughs> with the video, just let me know and I will try to amend it. I want to make the perfect content for all of you guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.